So, I assume everyone realizes a huge advantage is a flat design on usability, especially when interfaces become more complex and when apps are required to run on different devices. Therefore, the real debate is about aesthetics, or even how GNOME design can wake up someone's feelings. And yes, people do actually develop feelings about their desktops. And then ironically some people blame me, because I love Chino, the same time when they've fallen in love with a button. Speaking of buttons, let's see where we're now, especially with the header bar buttons, since header bars compose one of the strongest elements of GNOME desktop. So, on the left is GNOME Text Editor on GTK4, using some older version on Adweta, and we still have the old button style with some depth. Meanwhile for now let's ignore header bar background, and just focus on the buttons only. Now, on the right we have Adweta for main branch, and as we already know the depth illustration is gone, and instead we have a subtle 2D background to recognize the actionable area. And let's check it on with the dark theme too, that is most probable what most people care even if the light theme is the default for most of things. While this seems a bit cleaner, it still doesn't solve the problem that our interface feels loaded, when in reality we only have three buttons and plenty of space. You may like this more? Or that maybe? But it doesn't matter much when there is an obvious design mistake. So naturally we have the next logical step, that we need to simplify the UIs by completely removing the backgrounds for some controls and play more with the iconography. Where we gonna use icons or background behind the buttons and all such choices, is what eventually creates a genius design. Like the amazing Blender for example. So let's open Inspector and try to reproduce the original designs, but without much of an accuracy. Just to get a slight idea how things are gonna be. So we have backgrounds only on some elements, and we already can notice how much cleaner and lighter everything looks. And if you still aren't convinced and you have your doubts? <laughs> so if you're asking me, I'd say that's the first time since smartphones took over, that GNOME caught up with everyone else's visuals art and visuals design, and we won't be able to tell at first sight if that's a GNOME or an iOS or an Android app. You see? When you stand out like that, that's not design or branding. That's a terrible circus show. Instead, a nice animation, a well-designed widget like the font selection, or the performance, that's what really makes you to stand out from others. But for giving some more character to your project, to bring it to the life in a sense, the buttons graphics or even the material you language won't mean anything. People really need Chino, people really want personalized AI voices. I'm just saying from my experience participating on Polestar 3 project, 